about the craziest thing you've ever seen? Craziest thing you've ever done. <laughs> Down at Lake Lyle at the moment. After this, we're heading out to Sunny Corner, and then from Sunny Corner, we're going to head along on one of my favourite trails, the Pinnacle Trail, out to Turon River National Park and set up camp there for the night. So I spent a bit of time in here this morning. We're just going to explore Lake Lyle a bit, a few little tracks around. is steeper than it looks. Remember I said it was cold? Not anymore. Then we've got this big step here. No. Let's try a little bit of front. <laughs> And it's a nice, slow, easy one. Nah, okay. That ain't gonna work. I must be wedged between the two. Right, I'm gonna try, go back a touch, and go around it a little bit. One hell of a rough trip. Air pressures are officially down and we're just come in from sunny corner. I'm just trying to pick which way to go now. I'm gonna keep continuing straight here. You so I've just come into the in the state forest. Uh, we filled up over at Yolo, Yolo time, Yolo might uh, something like Ampol over there. And Caltex. Uh, we've pretty much come back down the same track we did a couple years back. So super keen to see how it's changed over those last couple of years. And I just love it out here, so I'm just super keen regardless. It's a good bit of country, so let's get into it.
All right, so we're going to come down this creek crossing. Uh, what one's this called? Jackass Creek joins up to William Creek by the looks of it. And uh, that's going to then take us up. We should actually get onto the Pinnacle Trail. So this whole time, I think we've been on Blackbutt Mountain Road, uh, if that's what it's called. Uh, Blackbutt Black, Black something or other road. So up here, should get to the top, Pinnacle Trail, and then we should have uh, Pinnacle Rocks just off to the left. So we'll get up there and check them out. Okay. Yay. Just up the top of Pinnacle Rocks, you can see behind me, pretty nice lookout. Not the highest point around here, but still pretty good. Uh, there's about a, what, 12 cars down there or something. It's like a tourist attraction around here in the middle of the bush. Uh, cut my foot open a bit earlier. Uh, I just want to tell you as well, when we went down uh, Blackbutt Road, uh, we went down across a couple of creeks there, Jackass Creek and that. We met up with some other blokes down there. They had to turn around. We had to turn around as well. So there was one entry to get up over the top to get sort of up into this area, which was um, you continue following Blackbutt um, Road. And I think that'll bring you up here. But, mate, it was it was rocky, and it was a bit too, bit too intense for us, especially when we are out here by ourselves. So we've turned around from there, and we had to come back all the way back around, actually, up... Um, Oh, Dark Corner Mountain Road, I think it is. And that's, once again, it's pretty easy going, a few bogs and that, but not much. And now we joined the Pinnacle Fire Trail, and uh, this pretty much now will take us straight into Turon. So, oh, mate, I'm keen. Pinnacle Rocks here, it's pretty cool. Come check it out on the way on Pinnacle, uh, on the Pinnacle Trail, but, mate, there's about three, six, 12 cars, something down there, so not hanging around too long. Get down to Turon, get some lunch in us, and have a swim, I think. Looks like we got the biggest bog of the day up in front here. Word of advice, I just watched the crew go through. Center line, completely washed out. So you guys went in here, it must have been about waist deep, super soft. Ended up having to get winched out. So uh, I'm gonna take this little, uh, I'll just take this little side track around, it should be fine. But uh, if you come to this one, note to yourself, wouldn't travel the middle unless you're with someone because you're probably gonna get stuck. Anyway, I'm going to set the camera up for you. Uh, I'll just take the sideline and we'll get through this. Turon. Oh, it just feels so good to get close to this place. I can't wait to get in. I'm gonna get myself in for a swim, I think. Set up some camp, a couple of beers, and a nice swim. <laughs> uh, oh, what was that? <laughs> All right, let me take you a walk through the campsite. I'm super keen. All right, you take us through. No. What do we got? No. Come on, explain it all out to everyone. Car. Yep, we got the car. What else do we have? House. Yeah, our house is up the back here. Let's go for a look inside the house. What do you think? 
half two and half. Let's have a look. How's your pizza? Sounds good. All right, well, we've got a bit of a mess in here. Why is there a stick on our bed? Uh, that's going to be some, some firewood later. So I just want to tell you guys who have seen this canopy before, you can see there's a big hole up in the corner here. I've now got some um, laminated flooring I've actually put in around Lemonade. just to sort of insulate and also give it a bit of a better look than that tray. Um, this weekend, uh, after this trip, this is our last trip in this canopy, after this trip I'm dropping this off to a bloke and he's going to end up doing a whole new canopy for me. Pretty much the same, but I'm going to get some side zips as well thinking about maybe getting some hydraulic sort of arms here that lift up and, and hold it up okay. anyway back to our campsite got a little picnic table provided for us today and have a look down here right on the river or on the creek I'm not sure which one it is that is looking so good I'm gonna get myself down there have a bit of a swim get a beer in me and then I think it's gonna be uh, maybe on a bit of something to eat too what do you think you come for a swim no of course not All right, let's get for a swim That is cold. Oh, but so nice at the same time. All right, time to get a beer in me, I think. Put that on the top now. Pull that out. That is getting shorter and shorter. Mm -hmm. 